Don't send out, don't throw up and call it a win. Don't send out, don't throw up and call it a win. Don't send out, don't throw up and call it a win. Okay, okay, which is the artery that splits into the right common carotid and the right subclavian? The nominate. No, no, that's not it. It's crap. Good morning. I think my mom forgot to pack my stethoscope. Is that gross to borrow one? Your yes. mom? And shut up, I need to get in my zone. Terrence, nervous. I'm not nervous. I'm in my zone. Woo! Day one, baby! Let's go! <laughs> I give it to me, give it to me. Yes. No. What's her deal? Zone. Why are you so not freaking out right now? <laughs> because, Dahlia, I don't freak out. I don't get jitters. And I crush first impressions, clearly. I actually rotated here a few months ago, and I... Definitely hit it off with here, people. Here, come here. I just saw Meredith Gray at the coffee cart. I said good morning. She looked at me, I think, and then she ordered a double latte, so I ordered a double latte. That's creepy, right? Very creepy, Dr. Bello. Good morning, Chief Bailey. Explain to me why I was just in the conference room and you all were not. If I'm somewhere you are supposed to be, you had better be there, too. Any questions? Uh, Chief, I heard a rumor that one of us will get into an OR today and be able to scrub in. Uh, today, you will have the opportunity to prove that you're ready to scrub in. One of you might surprise me. So there's a chance. It would be an honor to scrub in with you one day. I have five rules. Memorize them. Rule number one, don't bother sucking up. Rule number two, nurses will page you. You will answer every page at a run, a run. Don't send out, don't throw up, call and win. Oscar's my patient. Well, no, he's mine. Find a new one. I've already done the rest of Oscar's labs. His pre-op, he knows me. It's cool. I'm cool with it. Dr. DeLuca specifically instructed me to draw his blood. And Dr. Karev asked me, and he's the attending, so I win. Ow! That's the wrong angle. Sense. Back off. You'll miss the vein. You're distracting me. Uh, you know, Geek Squad over here wasn't so bad. Maybe, maybe he should just do it. Hmm. Ow! Ow! What's going on? Dr. Krev, hi. I'm just running Oscar's labs, like you asked. There might have been some confusion on who exactly was supposed to do it, but... But we've totally got it under control. You're butchering his arm. Glasses move. Oh, no. That wasn't me. That was... I don't expect much from interns, Oscar. That way I'll never be disappointed. Bella, present. But she isn't even Oscar on the... Oscar Montez, 16, has cholestasis that is currently not responding to dietary changes. He'll need to have his gallbladder removed. Right, new approach? It has to be open. The scans show adhesions, and it's too difficult to take them down with the minimally invasive approach. Dr. Krev, Chief Bailey mentioned that one of us might be able to operate today. I do have OR experience. Which is why I should get to do it. Do I get a say? You dropped your glasses in the surgical field. And I promise that nothing like that will ever happen again. Right, because I told the nurses I want you on B-team today. Oh, that's... What's B-team? Well, if it's in a bedpan, you clean it. If it's in a barf bucket, you clean it. If it's blood, you clean it. Oscar, we'll get you prepped in a bit. He hates you. I might have slept with Dr. Wilson. I so doubt that.
Good morning, Dr. Pierce. Can I just say that I am so excited to be working with you today. I love cardiothoracic surgery, so this is a total honor. Hi, I'm Dr. Roy. I'm going to take great care of you. Oh, no. Is everything okay, ma'am? Didn't we just get a new litter a few months ago? It's been a year or so. New interns. Meet Mrs. Nunez. She is scheduled for a valve replacement, but she's experiencing some new test pains and shortness of breath. Mrs. Nunez, I know you're probably scared, but everything's going to be just fine. Would you like me to explain your procedure to you? Puppy, tip number one, no onions for breakfast or sausage. And I've had this surgery three times. She has a pan-systolic ejection murmur, which is likely a symptom of... Aortic stenosis. And I'd get a repeat EKG and a cardiac panel. Ugh, more tests? Yeah, everything... Don't worry, Mrs. Nunez. Dr. Pierce can do the surgery in her sleep, and I'll be right there assisting. <laughs> no, he won't. I promise. Are you sure I can handle anything? Mrs. Nunez. She's in fib. What do we do here, Roy? Call for a crash cart? Good. Crash cart? Somebody bag her. Push an amp of Epi. Let me charge you. Epi's in. She's signing on it. Charge to 120. Charge to 120. Joe has in place. Clear. Back in sinus. Congratulations, Dr. Roy. You are in charge of the code team today for this floor. Every patient that codes, that's you. You can go tell the nurse the station. Every patient? Now, Dr. Roy. Did you check Mr. Chang's post-op drain? Yes, it's all clear, sir. Okay, and for Mr. Patel? I order a follow-up CT with contrast. Oh, as your residency director, I can't play favorites, but um, I must say that you are one of the most competent interns I've ever seen on their first day. Then maybe I can join you in the OR today? And there it is. I'll study. I'll make flashcards. You should see my flashcards because my handwriting is basically a font. I mean, I, I even use diagrams, see? The writing's a little small. I could write bigger or use more color. Okay. Um, Dr. Kadri, surgery isn't arts and crafts. So is that a no? No. You will not be scrubbing in on your first day. Okay. How about I schedule you for the rest of my service this week. You can watch me, okay, learn from me, see the wonders of general surgery, and when you're ready, you'll scrub in. That would be so amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Could I also work with Dr. Gray? She's gonna win the Harbor Avery. I mean, hello. She's married with Gray, daughter of Ellis Gray. Talk about total amazing general surgeons. Pioneers, really. And don't even get me started on Chief Bailey. She's you know such what? an inspiration. I'd like to round on Mrs. Olivier. I thought you wanted me to wait until she... I've changed my mind. OK. Dr. Kadri, where are you going? I assumed you were leading us. Let me ask again. Where might I find Mrs. Olivier? She's in our room. Oh, you mean, let me get the room number. Um, uh, it logged me out again. How do I log back in? Mrs. Olivier? In here. <sighs> Maybe I should give you the gray. Really?
Reporting for duty. Major Hunt, sir. You're done rounding on my post ops? Yes. And the hourly checks Claire on... Morris, yes. Can I scrub in now? I would also like to throw my hat in that ring. I asked first. Please stop. Listen, I don't have a surgery right now, but I do need help with uh, discharge paperwork and a patient who's... Mine! The patient's mine! Plus, Dr. Parker's freakishly fast at computers. It's just a discharge. He's good at that, too. All right, have at it, Parker. Now let's go. A cooler. A liver. It was allocated to a patient in Oregon, but the team got delayed due to weather. So until they get here, you have to keep an eye on it. And we're afraid it's just going to walk out okay. of here? Or... You don't leave the room until they get here. Got it? Finish the discharge. Where's your patient? A liver? A transplant team is on their way. I'm watching it until they get here. Yeah. Kind of cute. No, Casey, it sucks. We're supposed to be cutting people open, not babysitting organs. What's going on? Huge trauma, multiple NBCs. Kevin needs hands in the ER. Me! You already have an assignment, Helm. Parker, you're with me. Let's go. It's literally just a lunchbox. <sighs> know any jokes? I saw six codes. I hid in the bathroom for two of them. At least you were in the pit. B team means more barf than blood, in case anyone was wondering. I accidentally held Dr. Weber's hand. How does that even happen? Wait, did you scrub in? No, but I was really close to Dr. Kepner when she shoved her hand in a gaping leg wound. I didn't even get to see a leg. Did any of you scrub in? No, negative. <sighs> Socks! Are we ever gonna set foot in an OR? Mm. Levi won't. Hold it! Schmidt was the first to kill a patient. Vic, you owe me 20 bucks. I didn't kill a patient. No, he dropped his glasses in one open body cavity in the OR. <laughs> Wait, wait, your glasses? Uh, you were all over Twitter. Was I the patient a little kid? <laughs> My face was sweating and they accidentally slipped off. <laughs> Hello, Chief Bailey. Who's on call? A big rig flipped over on the five. Income is about eight minutes out. This means that one of us will get to scrub in tonight, right? Why would you think that? Well, this morning you said one of us would get the opportunity to operate today. Uh, what I said was that today you would have the opportunity to prove yourselves ready to scrub in, not that you would scrub in today. Now, seeing as how you all are doctors, I would think that you were smart enough to understand that difference. I don't see anyone moving. And what are you all still here for? You just finished your first day as a surgeon. Congratulations. Go home. The chief played us. Big time. I mean, she technically didn't say that we could oh, do. Oh, glasses. 